hey everybody it's Scott Omato back for another Minecraft video hope everybody's having a great day guys in this video I'm going to show you how to get a timer over the top of Minecraft bedrock for the purpose of speed running all right and I've been researching it a lot and it's harder than it seems guys because the full screen window in bedrock is uh a borderless full screen window all you wmp applications are but it doesn't act normally like in windows all right so like for instance i could get the mic the uh, game bar over the top of it all right that's the xbox game bar but i can't get any other windows uh over the top of it floating all right so we're going to do it with a plug-in for live split this is live split that's running uh, for the Riva Tuner Statistics Server, which is part of the MSI Afterburner package, right? So you can see I have the timer up in the window and I have full control over it so I can stop it, reset it, uh, and it syncs with the window itself. So with uh, shift windows enter, I can get out of full screen and it syncs with this timer back in live split, all right? And I'm gonna show you how to do that, guys, real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of Minecraft for the time being and we'll do some initial setups for it all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the web and go to livesplit.org I'll, I'll close this for now to get it out of my way uh, and save my layouts all right so go to livesplit.org go to downloads and download it here to your disk now i have a full video on live split on setting it up with obs for video recording and all that kind of stuff I'm going to put a card up now and i'll leave a link in the description for that all right so i want you to check that out if you want to get more detail i'm just going to go over this stuff for bedrock but we're going to use this live split component for reva tuner all right it's the reva tuner statistic server all right and it's here on github so i'll leave a link in the description and you want to go to the releases section and download it here so uh, open this assets button here and then download this live split revatuner.zip to your disk all right and it'll say it's not commonly downloaded maybe dangerous uh just say keep all right there, there's nothing wrong with it i can look at it in uh, vt for browsers scan the selected link this will take me to virus total give me a report on it real quick uh just to show you guys that it, it's clean it there's no problem with it and it's hosted on github it's open source and all that so we'll let that do that for a moment there you go it's so all the engine zero of 83 it, it's a clean file that's just something that chrome does to let you know uh that you know some files are rare all right they, they didn't know a lot about them so when you get that you'll get this live split reba tuner statistics server right down here now you'll also need msi afterburner i'll leave a link to that in the description you want to download that and again i have a full video on the channel about setting up msi afterburner on your system uh, and it's very useful for recording FPS and CPU monitoring and usage and GPU usage. It's really useful. I'll put a card up now and then leave a link in the description uh, for that uh, tutorial on MSI Afterburner. All right. Uh, but once you've got that down to your disk, you want to, uh, when you install Live Split, when you pull it down, it's going to be a zip file. So just uh, extract it and put it somewhere on your disk like on the root of your c drive or make a win apps folder is what i do because it's a standalone application uh that's not going to go into your start menu or anything like that it's just going to be somewhere on your disk all right so when you get it you'll get live split.exe and what you want to do with this live split reva tuner is you want to extract it so use seven zip or something like that extract it to your disk and then open it and there's going to be uh, three folders inside of it there'll be the components and then there'll be three folders now you just want to copy all this to your clipboard and then put it into the components area in the live split tuner all right so go to components in the live split folder here and then paste that in there and you can see i've already done it there's the two there and then the reva tuner should be down here somewhere uh, right here okay so do that and then restart uh, live split and we'll have the option to to utilize that all right so let's go ahead and open live split now and of course you're going to want to launch the reva uh, tuner statistics server now you can do it on its own uh, or you can do it with msi afterburner so 
Uh, if you just launch MSI Afterburner, it will launch this Reva Tuner Statistics Server. All right, and you can just launch it by itself as well. But if I click on its tray icon for Reva Tuner Statistics Server, it'll bring up the window here. And again, I have a lot more detailed tutorial on it, uh, on how to do it, but you can control the formatting and stuff here. Uh, the on-screen display zoom can, will control the size of the uh, timer in your window. Let me grab that little widget bar. It's kind of hard to grab. And see, that'll, that'll control the size of it. And then if you uh, click on this uh, real 3D here, you can get the fonts and stuff. So you could go through and set the font that you want for it. And you can configure it somewhat in MSI Afterburner as well under settings, under the monitoring tab, although it's not gonna show up here. Uh, you're gonna wanna be sure that your CPU and all that stuff is turned off here. Uh, I think by default, it's just like CPU and GPU. If it's turned on, it'll say in OSD, which is on-screen display. You'll want to be sure those checkboxes are turned off on all of these, unless you do want to monitor FPS or something like that. Again, I'm going to refer you to that MSI Afterburner uh, video. Uh, but for the formatting and stuff, you do have some control, I believe, in here. Uh, but not really because it's not truly a component that's listed inside of here. So it looks like that most of your formatting is going to come from the uh, Reva Tuner statistics server side. All right. So uh, let's focus then on the um, layouts and stuff for live split. Uh, I'll just collapse all this. Uh, just know that those are tray apps that are running in the background. All right. So if I uh, let's go ahead and just create a new layout so we can do it from scratch. Uh, so there's two sections. There's edit splits and edit layout. All right. So let's do edit splits. All right. And I'm just going to like start from scratch, guys, uh, basically. So uh, to do that, you just right click and you say uh, save split. So if you already have a split and then we'll just say edit splits to create a new one essentially i mean it's already going to have the settings that i had before but you want to choose minecraft bedrock edition from the list here all right be sure that's your minecraft version now there's not anything special about this for the live split it, it doesn't have a plug-in like it does for minecraft java so you can't read the saves folder so it's only a real-time timer all right it's not an in-game timer and that's just something that you you don't have ava uh, available to us all right so it's going to say start timer at zero attempts uh however many you know you could put zero in here how do you want to do your attempts if you choose a run category it's going to do auto splitting for you all right it's got some categories in there but generally i'm just going to leave that blank because I, I really don't care too much about the splits for that right now all right so I hit OK, and then that will edit the splits to set it to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So now we want to do the layout. So we set Edit Layout, all right? And we're going to want to create one that's similar to this, all right? That has a timer and then the Reva Tuner, and I'll, I'll show you how to select those. So let's just go ahead and get rid of them for right now. Uh, and so we can make a new one. It, it won't let me get rid of everything on the list. So I'll just show you, but timer, we just want to select timer from the list and choose timer. All right. And then we want to go ahead. I'll, I'll delete the Reva for right now because I can. And then we want to go to other and you want to choose Reva tuner. So that'll let you know that you've installed it correctly and it'll say Reva tuner. And then you can just control the ordering of the list. I tend to like Reva tuner at the top. All right. Then we want to go to the layout settings here and you can see that the window re let's look at the size real quick because the window resizes uh, to allow for the splits and all that and it gets really weird. You want to go through and set the size of your window uh, and I'm just going to make the height of it uh, let's say like 200 would be fine and then that'll be a more manageable window. Actually let's make it smaller than that even let's say 150. Actually, 100 would probably be fine. Let's do 100. Okay, and there. Now, that's a decent size uh, compared to all showing all the split lists and stuff like that. Then we want to go to the layout settings. And we you could see in layout settings, it's got three tabs. One for 
The two here are for the components that you've added, in our case, Reva Tuner and the timer. Then there's a main layout one that's going to let you do the overall. All right. So if, if you plan on, uh, again, I'm going to refer you back to this other video where I set it up for OBS uh, to change the background color so I can Luma key and stuff like that if you're interested in that. But you can set the fonts and everything for just the live split stuff in this one. Now, the live split one's not gonna show in Bedrock. You can set it to show in OBS, uh, but you'll have to overlay over the top of that other one because the Reva Tuner will show up in your videos, all right? It'll show up in your videos, uh, whereas you could set it up uh, Normally in Java, where it wouldn't show up in your videos, you don't have that luxury in Bedrock. It'll always show in your video. All right, uh, but you could go through and set the time, the colors and stuff like that that you want. All right, but let's uh, configure each one individually. So for the Reva Tuner, uh, all we're really interested in is the timer. So select timer from the list here and choose Add. Now, if you wanted to do a title or something, you could or different splits, some of best, you know, there, there's various settings that you could do, but generally all we're wanting is the timer. So just add the timer here, and then you could set what you want your text size to be. Again, some of that's controlled back in the Reva Tuner or the overall size of it. Character width, uh, we'll turn off show game name, show category name, show finish run count, show attempt counts. Basically, I'll turn off all that. Uh, total splits, basically, I'm just gonna set to, to zero. It may not let me, I think one is the thing. Upcoming split zero. All right, uh, always show last split, we'll turn that off. Uh, set time accuracy to tenths. All right, um, let's see, drop decimals when it counts over one minute. Now let's keep that on, off, keep it tenths. Uh, timing method is current timing method, although really it's real time. So put in real time there. Uh, then the time format, probably you're going to want to have uh, minutes, seconds, and tenths. All right, that's what this one in the list is. Third one, and then you can control if they're two digit or one digit, and we'll make them two digit all right, there. All right, so uh, forget the alternate timing method and whatever. All right, so we're pretty much set up on that. Uh, now let's go to the timer version here and we'll again set real time because that's all we can do uh, timer color show gradient line to center timer format we'll choose the same one there's a third one in the list with those decimals like that now you can control the size of the tenths with this slider uh, in the uh, live split but not in the reva tuner all right the, the reva tuner is not going to be affected by that all right so uh, when we hit OK, uh, that will be it for what we need. And then you could just, again, save your splits and you can save your layout. So there, and you can have it by a name. So you could just open it. Like, see, I have a Minecraft Bedrock open layout, open splits. I have a Minecraft Bedrock that I can open there. All right. So that's pretty much it for that. Again, back in the Reva Tuner, you can set the size of the scaling the fonts and stuff that you'll see inside of the bedrock all right so let's go back to minecraft bedrock here and um when you have the tuner running you can see the the size has changed uh so you have some adjustment like back like let's look at our splits real quick if i go back to live split and i right click on that and i choose edit the layout and layout settings uh reva tuner i can up the size here so let's say like a hundred for instance, all right, and it'll make it bigger uh, somewhat, I believe, in Bedrock. All right, let's go back to there. Yeah, so it'll make it bigger. So you have kind of two controls. You have a size control in uh, the live split, and you have one in the Reva Tuner, all right? So Reva Tuner one's kind of easier to just get an overall adjustment, all right? So the last thing you would want to do in live split is set up your key binds. So right-click on it and choose Settings. And you'll want to set up hotkeys for uh, start and reset at least. All right. Now you can do a pause as well. Uh, I just have mine basically set to uh, shift, control, alt, and left for start and shift, control, alt, right for reset and down for pause. All right. You, you could set these however you want. Just click in the field and then. Uh, push your keys that you want to assign. All right. 
So uh, again, back in Bedrock here, uh, let's go ahead and open the world. All right, and uh, you can see the timer's up. Now the paper doll's there, but it, uh, it'll it come on and off. Now the location of the timer itself, uh, it's fine because it scoots over a little bit to get out of the way of the paper doll when it shows, um, but you can't really control the positioning of it too much. Uh, in the window, um, you can like put blank titles and stuff and move it down a little bit. And then if you had your CPU and GPU and stuff, you could uh, get them in there. But you can see now if I use the keybinds, then I can enable it. All right. And so I can do that. And it's synced with Live Split. So if I go back to Live Split there, you can see those two are synced together. Uh, so it is getting the stuff from Live Split. Uh, then again, if I have the key binds to reset it, I can start it again. Uh, I've got a pause set to down. So there we go. We're paused. Uh, so all the stuff works uh, in live split. Again, guys, this is on your video. This is going to be, if you're recording video, we're doing a screen cap like I am right now, it's going to show that timer. So if you go back in OBS or whatever and want to Put the timer over the top from OBS, you're going to have to cover this. Uh, so you can't really have a transparent background timer uh, like I show in my other video. But anyway, guys, I want to keep this kind of short and simple, but it took me a long time to find something that actually worked, guys. It was really weird because, again, uh, be this being a full screen window, that's not easy to uh, overlay stuff over the top of it. Then we had to go to this realm. And, watching other people's uh, bedrock speedrun videos and stuff and reading through some of the comment sections they are just overlaying their timers in obs they don't see them in game all right apparently uh, if anybody knows any different then let me know in the comments but now we figured out at least how to get it in game using the reva tuner statistic server uh, and again as i said you can run that along with msi afterburner uh, as such, now if I close MSI Afterburner, it'll close that as well. Okay, so those both close together. Or I can open the Reva Tuner by itself. Now be aware that when you uh, do this, it's and you have this applic this uh, component active, it's going to say some system components cannot be ha uh, hooked into right now. Strongly recommend to restart the application. That's okay, guys. Uh, basically, it's just saying that this component is uh, affecting it. All right. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful to you guys. If you're doing speed running on Bedrock, then I know it is. So please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. And this is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.